So on Valentine's Day this year, the big story in the media was this school shooting in Florida. And what I'm going to show in this video is how this story is no different than any other story in our mainstream media. Every single day, these stories are coded with what is called gematria, the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases. And the people who control our media are the people who control our sports leagues, which are scripted the same way. The people who wrote our told history that is all scripted with the same system. They understand this knowledge and they use it every single day in our media. Whether this story is, you know, a true false flag, whether people really died, I'm not here to argue that. What I'm here to show in this video is that it is scripted by the numbers and Gematria stems back to Kabbalah, which is Jewish mysticism, which is the belief that God created the world by merging the letter with the number. And there's absolutely people who understand this knowledge, and they've been ruling over us using it. So, if you pay enough attention to media stories, you can pick up on patterns as well. Like themes is what I'm talking about. And this story is multi-coded to a lots of different events, but it's absolutely some type of tribute to the Chicago Cubs winning the World Series in 2016, which I'll show in a minute. But two days before this shooting or whatever, I noticed this pattern. It, you have to be following my channel to understand more of what I'm saying, but I'm making it simple. But I noticed this pattern in regards to Jennifer Garner in the media i kept seeing these articles for the last month or so that just why they were headline articles on cnn it really made no sense to me we had the story about jennifer garner selling girl scout cookies right why is that even a news article there was another one about her eating a hot chili pepper or something and she had to hose her mouth off with water like why in the world are these stories even in there and i've been talking about this space theme that's going along with the Philadelphia Eagles and a bunch of other stuff being in the Super Bowl. You know, we even got the Falcon Heavy rocket that was super connected to the Eagles and whatnot. They had David Bowie's song Space Oddity playing with the, the mannequin named Starman and whatnot when they launched that, the 49th launch of Space or Falcon Rockets and David Bowie and Gematria equals 49. Falcon Heavy equals 49, Space Oddity equals 49, and David Bowie, the song Space Oddity came out just days before the 1969 moon landing, right, when Neil Armstrong supposedly walked on the moon, but that lunar module that landed on the moon was called the Eagle. The Eagle has landed, and, you know, a bunch of other things, and then we had the Eagles in the Super Bowl, but... Moral of the story, to make it short and sweet, I just knew there was something to look into Jennifer Garner because of James Garner, who's in the movie Space Cowboy. And like I said, you have to be following what I've been saying. But when I looked up Jennifer Garner, I noticed that one of the big movies in regards to her and Ben Affleck and whatever else, and they just got divorced, the movie Daredevil. And it came out on Valentine's Day. And I thought, interesting, considering... Jennifer Garner is also in the movie called Valentine's Day, the one with Ashton Kutcher and Taylor Swift and a bunch of other famous people. She's in this movie, Valentine's Day, one of these big movies that she, you know, got known for other than like, well, she's also in Pearl Harbor and a bunch of stuff. But one of these early big movies with Ben Affleck came out on Valentine's Day and they're both 45 years old right now. And Valentine's is the 45th day of the year. Something that I would talked about a whole lot in regards to a ton of stuff. And I noticed this pattern in the media in regards to everything I talked about in the year 2015 and how it was synced up to this year. I even talked about the Philadelphia Eagles a whole bunch and just Philadelphia in general in regards to an earthquake in 2015. And then this year... In Delaware, we got the 4.1 earthquake at the end of November, and the big stuff in the story was all about how it was felt in Philadelphia. 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 
Super Bowl equals 41 in Gematria. And if you remember, the Philadelphia Eagles even scored 41 points to beat the Patriots and whatnot. So there's all the stuff that was connected to 2015, Valentine's. And Valentine's Day was something I was really talking about a lot in 2015. And, you know, even, even just days before that, someone had left this comment on one of my old videos right here. And, you know, they didn't watch the video or anything, but they left this comment on one of my videos about Valentine's Day. So I knew there was something going on with Valentine's. And I went back and looked up some of my old stuff in regards to Bill Murray, who was connected to Michael Jordan, a whole lot of stuff. I'm not going to re-explain it. I have a longer video that I, I made just before this one, if you want to watch that one to understand it. But... In this post on February 13th, I pointed out all the stuff with Bill Murray in the number 67. You know, his mom died age 67, his dad died in the year 67, Ghostbusters came out on 6-7, and in Ghostbusters 2, they say that the end of the world, that the alien, the lady says on Bill Murray's show or whatever, the alien told her the end of the world is Valentine's Day of 2016, which is the same year the Cubs won the World Series and whatnot, but... In Gematria, William Murray equals 67. Groundhog Day equals 67. Talked about this tweet he made in 2015, talking about giving him 67 years to do something, and he wouldn't do anything until the night before, which made no sense because he was only 64 years old at the time. But he, he made this tweet on January 9th, 1 slash 9. The 19th prime number is 67. I pointed out in the movie Space Jam, just before Bill Murray comes in, they show the score, and the tunes have 67 points. And Bill Murray in reverse Gematria even equals 67. I even pointed out, he turned 67 years old this year on September 21st, and it was on a date numerology of 67. 9 plus 21 plus 20 plus 17, 67. And Valentine's Day in the Eastern Orthodox, in the Western, it's on February 14th, but in the Eastern Orthodox, it's on July 6th, which they would write the date as 6 slash 7, a lot like 67. And Valentine's and Gematria equals 67. Even 67 days after Bill Murray's 67th birthday on a date numerology of 67 is November 27th, the 331st day of the year. The 67th prime number is 331. So I just mentioned all the stuff that was seemingly pointing to Valentine's Day. And then, of course, we get this high school shooting reminding us of the St. Valentine's Day massacre that was in Chicago in 1929, which was the same year of the stock market crash that I talked about was super synced up to the Super Bowl. And before I show you that, I want to show you the, the shooter's name in this story on Valentine's Day, Nicholas Cruz, 67 in Gematria. And he is supposedly 19 years old. Remember, the 19th prime, 67. And it, think about Bill Murray being from Chicago. And earlier in this year, we even got the death of Chester Bennington that was synced up to the moon stuff, right? The Great American Eclipse and whatnot. He died 33 days before that eclipse, and eclipse equals 33, and he was, you know, sad because of Chris Cornell and Chris Cornell's Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun, all about the eclipse, right? There's a big moon theme and a space theme that's going on with a lot of this stuff. And anyway, Chester Bennington was from Lincoln Park, and the St. Valentine's Day Massacre happened in Lincoln Park in Chicago. And that was in 1929 on Valentine's Day, but later in that year, we got the stock market crash, right? And in Gematria, the word Neil equals 88. Think about that in regards to the Super Bowl and the NFL season in general, kneeling. Neil equals 88. Trump equals 88. The Star Spangled Banner equals 88 in Gematria. Also, Colin Kaepernick equals 88. Colin Kaepernick equals 88. The 
U.S. Bank Stadium, where the Super Bowl is held, U.S. Bank Stadium equals 88. And this year is the, on October 29th, it was the 88th anniversary of the stock market crash, right? Think about that in regards to U.S. Bank Stadium. And Herbert Hoover, H is the eighth letter, put them together, HH, a lot like an 88. Herbert Hoover was the president during the stock market crash in 1929. He became the president just after the St. Valentine's Day massacre. But Herbert Hoover was the guy who signed into Congress that the national anthem is became the Star Spangled Banner. He signed the, that as the official national anthem in 1931, right? So it's all synced up to Donald Trump calling out the flag, the flag, you know, kneeling and whatnot, standing for the flag. The flag was sewn at 239 Arch Street in Philadelphia, Donald Trump born on Flag Day. You know, it's a big joke. And 2015, what I'm talking about, was also the 239th year of the United States. 239 is the 52nd prime, right? Super Bowl 52 that was held in Minnesota that equals 52. A ton of other stuff in regards to it. But just wanted to point out, you know, how it was connected to the Super Bowl and whatnot. And What's even funnier is this team, the school, the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, their mascots, even the Eagles, right? Oh, oh, the odds. What a coincidence. They're the Eagles. Just after the Eagles win the Super Bowl, the lady that it's named after was even born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This lady even died in the year 1998, 98, important to the Super Bowl this year. You know, it was the 98th season of the NFL. Also, it was a big number that I pointed out in regards to a ton of stuff. Tom Brady equals 98. Patriots equal 98. You know, Michigan Wolverines equal 98. Even Jim Harbaugh, the coach of Michigan, equals 98. Brady became the starter at Michigan in 98. You know, tons of other stuff. Brady Bunch, 98. But I also pointed out that if you write out 98, in satanic gematria, it equals 521. And 521 is the 98th prime number. And Philadelphia equals 521 in satanic. And also stock market in satanic gematria just so happens to equal 521. And I was talking about how it was super connected. Let's type it out really quick. It was super connected to the stock market crash and whatnot. That's what the whole Super Bowl was absolutely connected to. And just think about it in regards to satanic gematria. The day after the Super Bowl, we got all the market meltdown stuff in the media, right? The market meltdown, the stock market story, the day after. And just before that, we got the 666-point drop. Think about that in regards to satanic gematria and how the stock market equals the same thing as Philadelphia and Satanic Gematria and whatnot. Dow Jones even equals 666. So I'll get to the Chicago Cubs stuff in a second, but I wanted to point out too that in regards to the Eagles, even if you look at the school, it talks about their marching band even played at Super Bowl 44. Just interesting that they would even have any ties to the Super Bowl. And they're called the Eagles just after the Eagles win the Super Bowl. And if you go from that lady's, the day that she was born, from Valentine's Day to the day she was born, it's 52 days. Think about it, Super Bowl 52. It would have been her 128th birthday. And Jewish Gematria, Eagles equal 128. Even Ash Wednesday equals 128. Valentine's Day fell on same day as Ash Wednesday this year. 128 is a big number that I talked about in regards to Pennsylvania in general a long time ago. William Penn equals 128. Pennsylvania became a state on a date numerology of 128. So just pointing out 120, you know, just before 128th, what would have been her 128th birthday. The name of the high school, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School equals 150 just like Philadelphia Eagles, right? And Valentine's Day equals 52. Think about that in regards to Super Bowl 52. Parkland equals 49. Valentine's equals 49. Eagles equal 49. 
Valentine's equals 67 with the V exception is what I was talking about earlier. V is tw the 22nd letter, which is a master number, so it doesn't have to be broke down. So what I thought was really interesting in regards to the Chicago Cubs and this lady that the school is named in honor for, remember all the stuff with Bill Murray and the number 67 and the shooter, you know, his name equals 67, he was 19 years old. All of the stuff connecting to Valentine's. Valentine's equals 67. If you go from the day that the Chicago Cubs won the World Series in 2016 to the shooting, it was a span of exactly 67 weeks. You know, how fitting. And there's a ton more. You know, I, I even talked about the movie I Pet Goat back in 2015 and how it synced up to the Cubs because they start off with the goat. And they have the lights, the baseball lights come on and whatnot, and Obama winks at, or Obama starts laughing at 108. And up on the board, they have Evil TN. If you're, if you're new, check out the film, the video short, I Pet Goat 2 or whatever. But there's hearts and everything else all in the background, and the shark, right, is reminding us of love and Valentine's and whatever else. But, and it even says Evil, which is love backwards. But in regards to this lady and how she's connected to the Chicago Cubs, if you look at her death day, she's got all these connections to Chicago. Even died 37 days before her birthday. Chicago equals 37 in Gematria. And you know, a bunch of other stuff. Even connected to the death of Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park because he died, what, 157 days yeah, uh, yeah, 157 days after the anniversary of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. 157 is the 37th prime number. But this lady also died at the age of 108 on 14 slash 5. Both numbers super connected to the Chicago Cubs and whatnot. Remember the Cubs hadn't won the World Series in 108 years. And... The Great Chicago Fire was on 10 slash 8, 145 years before in 1871. The Cubs were in their 145th season. And in Gematria, Chicago, Illinois equals 145. And if you read out 145 in Gematria, it equals 108. You know, just all kinds of stuff. The Willis Tower in Chicago is 108 stories tall. Just there, It was just never ending. All kinds of 108 stuff that year with the Chicago Cubs, and then they, they won for the first time in 108 years. I even pointed out that Back to the Future 2, where the Cubs supposedly win the World Series or whatever, that movie's 108 minutes long, and Part 3 came out on 14-5 of 1990, which is the same year that the school the Stoneman Douglas High School was founded or whatever. But remember in Back to the Future, they even play, they beat Miami, right? The area where the school shooting happened, Miami equals 45, Illinois equals 45, Cubs equals 45, Wrigley equals 45, Valentine's on the 45th day of the year. This happens during the time of the 45th president, whose vice president equals Mike Pence equals 45 in reverse and the frontwards way. And in regards to Philadelphia, Back to the Future comes to an end on October 27th of 1985, which is the anniversary of Philadelphia being founded, the 303rd anniversary of Philadelphia. You know, even the Pope, the Pope who created Valentine's was Pope Gelasius, that equals 145 in Gematria. And the word Catholic equals 145 in Gematria. And right now we got the Pope, whose name equals 145 in Gematria, Jorge Bergoglio. Maybe it's with his middle name, can't remember what it is, equals 145. Catholic, you know, equals 145. During the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, the mayor was William Hale Thompson, who was supposedly born on May 14th, 14 slash 5. And if you write out Saint like that, St. Valentine's Day Massacre even equals 145 in Gematria. So interesting. You know, that this lady has all these connections to the Chicago Cubs 
and it synced up to Valentine's, right? 67 weeks after the Chicago Cubs win the World Series. And Al Capone, right? One of the main guys in the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. His name even equals 67 in Gematria. Just Capone equals 108. And his real full name, Alphonse Gabriel Capone, equals 108. And look who went to high school at this high school. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Anthony Rizzo, the number 44 of the Chicago Cubs, who won the World Series in 2016 with the Chicago Cubs. Even born on 8-8, right? A big number that was connected to the curse of the Billy Goat and whatnot. Curse of the Billy Goat and Gematria equals 88. What's also interesting about that was Houston won this year, and the Houston's connected to the big space theme that I'm talking about. And Houston won in two, or went to the World Series in 2005, and they played the Chicago White Sox, who hadn't won in 88 seasons. And the last time the Philadelphia Eagles were in the Super Bowl, they lost to the Patriots in 2005. So there's something synced up to 2005 in relation to it, you know. I even talked about last year, when I knew the Cubs were going to win the World Series for sure, was the day that we got the Hoboken train wreck in New Jersey, and they told us 114 people were injured on there. And Hoboken is where the very first ever Major League Baseball game was supposedly played, and whatever else. Or the very first baseball game ever played was from there. And even if you... Look at the Eustace Mullins book, The Secrets of the Federal Reserve. He talks about how that's really where the Federal Reserve began, at the Hoboken Railroad Station there. And anyway, that same day, the Chicago Cubs tied against the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the word tie in Gematria equals 114, and the Cubs are in their 114th season being called the Cubs. And after winning the World Series, they won it on their 114th win of the season, and the last time there was a tie was in 2005 when the Houston Astros tied the Reds 114 days before the World Series began of them playing the Chicago White Sox. But moving on, in 1929, the year of the stock market crash, the year of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, the Cubs lost to the Philadelphia Athletics in the World Series that began on 10-8 even, a lot like 108. And they lost to Philadelphia. What are the odds of that, you know? The story connected to the Chicago Cubs and also to Philadelphia, who just won the Super Bowl. And then they even played each other in the World Series in 1929. Even if you go from the anniversary of the stock market crash to Valentine's Day, it's a span of 108 days. Herbert Hoover, the president during the stock market crash, born on August 10th. In most parts of the world, they write it as 10 slash 8, a lot like 108. So we'll leave it there. Hopefully the point got across. I'm telling you, this shooting is related to the Cubs winning the World Series in 2016, synced up to the Eagles winning the Super Bowl. There's something more we need to learn off of this. I know there's something more that if you follow the patterns, there's more to the story. I talked about it a little bit more in my previous video, so check that out. But hopefully that makes sense. Absolutely connected to the Cubs winning the World Series. Wanted to make this short. Never happens. Wanted to make it easier to understand. Probably isn't. I don't know how to organize it any better than I have, so. Have a good one. Peace.